This is a bus ticket for the most beautiful bus ride in Colombia. Nine hours of incredible mountains, drivers with road rage, and an unexpected turn of events. And the destination, well, I'm not telling you guys just yet, but what I will say is that it's one of the most iconic places here in Colombia, and that I got a lot of fun things planned for when we get there. Chris takes off! We are leaving Bogota right now, but something funny just happened. A lady who works at the station just walked in and filmed all of us, which is something I've never seen before for a bus trip. She, she filmed uh, all, all the, the people because safety and the security. So yeah, it immediately makes me wonder what happens on these type of trips. Like, like can the bus be kidnapped or whatever? Like, I don't know, probably not. It doesn't make any sense, but it's gonna be fine. In general, the bus looks very nice, very clean, even from the outside. There's Wi-Fi on board. And what I'm counting right now is that there are about nine rows, so that makes about 18 seats. Hi guys, get all. Do you bien? Oh, oh, sorry? Okay, more or less. Yo también, mi, um, mi, mi español, español, más o menos. <laughs> Todo bien. <laughs> and, uh, well, the people here are super friendly, so that's good. There's even a toilet and baño. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use that right now, now that we're driving. I think I'm going to do that one myself. Hi, how are you? ¿Cómo te llamas? Jason Duque. ¿Qué? Jason Duque. Jason Duque. Me llamo Chris. Buen día. And uh, yeah, this, it's a vibe right here. As you can see, the view here in Bogota isn't very impressive, unfortunately. But right now, we're slowly getting outside the city and it is definitely getting more beautiful, as you guys can see. But in the meantime, I want to review a couple local pastries here from Colombia, all very classic, that I bought just at the station. And there were many, 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 many shops where you could get food. And I just went into this tiny little bakery I paid a little over $3.50, I think it was $3.58, which is like 13,800 pesos. And the first one I'm gonna try is this Almo Cobano, which is basically cheese and corn flour. Hmm. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. That doesn't happen very often that I don't like something. But nah, Colombians use cheese in a very odd way. Yesterday I had some chocolate milk, also with cheese in there, which is pretty decent, but nah, this is not my cup of tea. Second, I got a pan de yuca, which is made out of cassava starch and cheese. I have no idea what cassava starch is, but... Oh, damn. Okay, no, Ugh. I regret now getting like something from Subway or something. Oh, no disrespect, obviously, but this is just not, ugh. It's like really old cheese and it gives you a very bleh, bitter, nasty like after days. Ugh. Okay, I'm um, yeah, not a fan of this one so far. In general, I really like the Colombian kitchen. I've tried a couple of really amazing local dishes, but the pastries are just not for me, I think. This thing is called pan de bono, which is Basically the same as we just tried, but then with eggs and guava paste sometimes, apparently in certain regions, according to Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is just so dry. This is not a fan, but hopefully the last one is gonna be better. Arepa de queso. This thing is made of corn flour, butter, and obviously again, cheese. Um, yeah, let's just dive in. Again, not my favorite, but this is des definitely the best one out of all four. Okay, I think there's a hair in there. Or I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's a hair. Yeah, I'm um, I'm good for now, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little um, food review. Now, after washing away the taste of those pastries, I moved to another seat to get a better view, but the clouds were ruining the party. Jason and I tried communicating, but my Spanish needs some improvement. There were a few moments where I got lucky with the view, and in general, seeing more of Colombia's nature was definitely amazing. We passed through some towns, saw many fruit stands, and as we were getting higher up the mountain, the view finally got better. Check it out, guys. We are so high up the mountain right now. I'm actually getting a little bit <laughs> sick because 
you know, we keep climbing up and climbing up and climbing up. I haven't had proper food besides some terrible pastries today. But this is definitely just an amazing experience. Being out here, looking around, seeing all these little towns and people walking. This is just not like any other city I've been to. And I mean, it is not even a city. Like this is literally just the Colombian mountains. But as the trip went on, the mountains got the better of me. We had one turn after the other and we were constantly zigzagging. I'm sure the driver is super experienced and knows these roads like the back of his head, but he was driving like an absolute maniac and I could feel myself getting more and more sick. But luckily, after six hours of driving... Vamos a comer un poco? 20, sí, claro, coma. ¿Cuántos minutos tenemos? Media hora, 20 minutos. Okay, I got about 30 minutes to hopefully feel better. Hello, how are you? And get some food in my stomach because I am dying right now guys but this place around here looks very nice i can see some fresh chicken here hola que tal hablas inglés inglés no español vale vale okay people here are very nice though food looks incredible que es el favorito que es el clásico aquí asado son los asados los carnes es con pollo no es con pollo con cerdo o con carne de res vale es mucho o es si gustas comer bastante sí Vale, por favor. Here we go, guys. Middle of nowhere in Colombia. Random little outside cafe. <laughs> Honestly, just the smell of food is already making me feel a lot better, though. All right, guys, here we go. I got some chicken, some fries. I am starving right now. It is so good to have some proper food again. Let's start a time lapse of me butchering this food. That was absolutely phenomenal guys i can already tell that i'm feeling so much better i just needed some food let's head back into the bus after that the drive went pretty smooth the view was mind-blowing it felt like the driver was finally slowing down well kinda and as I was watching the sunset, I had a realization. What we are doing, guys, right now on YouTube is so unique. Uploading one high-quality travel video every single week in 2024. And that is just so hard. I've watched many travel creators, and I now understand why they struggle to upload as frequently as I would probably like, because this is hard. Right now, it is about 6 p.m. here in Colombia and all of my friends are asleep, my family is asleep, my mom and my dad, and I had a bit of a realization that I feel kind of lonely sometimes when I'm doing this, but then I watched the views go up on the video I uploaded two days ago, just a little over 41,000 views, which is this insane considering we only have like 27,000 subscribers right now by the time I'm recording this, so um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I might be tired, I might be, you know, a little bit stressed about everything that's going on, but I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for supporting me. And now you might be thinking, hey, the bus has suddenly stopped, but no, we actually have a three hour delay. We're gonna get there a little bit later than expected, around 10 p.m. But once we finally get there, I can finally tell you guys that we've made it to Medellin. The bus arrived at a completely abandoned train station about 30 minutes ago, and I was then picked up by a super nice taxi driver, and I just got Hi. to my hotel. Good evening. It is about 2.30 right now, which is a lot later than I expected it to be. We should have gotten here around 7 p.m. But yeah, this was a 15 hour bus drive. Well, apparently there was some sort of car accident which left us stuck on the middle of a mountain. I'll try to show you guys the current situation. We are on the mountain. I'm standing on the road right now, but there's cars driving by um, and only like little bikes sometimes as well. But for us, like the massive buses and trucks and whatnot, we can't come through. So yeah, I've honestly no idea what time we're gonna get there. I've been on this bus for so long, but uh, it is what it is. But the thing that annoyed me the most is now that I got here to Medellin, I couldn't really enjoy the view because apparently that is super beautiful. Let me do something about that. I'm getting more creative with these transitions. Now this hotel that I'm staying in is insane. It's in El Poblado, which is the safest area here. And just look at that rooftop pool. 
What? I needed that. Let's discuss today's game plan. All right, I am in a taxi right now on my way to Comuna Terrace. As you guys can see, I've switched to GoPro. I left my big Sony at the hotel simply because, you know, it kind of puts a target on my back. Medellin is a beautiful city, but it's also known for, you know, a little bit of crime and people getting robbed. So I don't want to stand out too much. I'm already so tall and I just look so Western. I don't want to get in trouble. But La Comuna Trece is one of the most beautiful neighborhoods here in Medellin. It actually used to be ran by the cartel and by gangs, but right now it's one of the most colorful and nice neighborhoods in the city. And I'm actually meeting up with one of you guys, a subscriber, her name is Susanna. She was born and raised here in Medellin and I cannot wait to meet her. Hey, how are you? So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so nice to finally be here in Colombia. Yes. This is I've so never cool. expected that. No, really? No. Why not? I don't know. I thought we were staying in Europe for a while. And nah, it's time to expand. It is time to expand. Hi, yeah. are you? Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, so this is Comuna Trece. Yes. Yeah. So basically we have two options. We can start walking here. We can also go up to those stairs. They are a dance group. Oh, okay. there's a dance group? Yeah. And they are wow. usually street dancers. Yeah. And they have their show. Okay, Whatever. that's dope. Yeah. It is amazing. Honestly, so far, I'm really, really liking Medellin. I walked around a little bit earlier to get some uh, cash out of the ATM. I yes. just, it was such a vibe. Everyone was laughing at me. Everyone was waving at me. Obviously, I stand out a little bit here. Oh, wow. Guys, check out this view. These type of houses, I've never really seen that since obviously I'm from Europe, from Amsterdam. But these type of housing is very cool. No podemos escaparnos de ella. The collaboration is individual. También no puedes... Guys, that was absolutely incredible. Let's continue into the neighborhood. But this was an incredible first impression. I don't care that it's raining. This city is absolutely amazing. Just looking around, so many people are constantly smiling. Oh, <laughs> and it feels kind of touristy, but in the meantime, it really doesn't because, you know, I can't explain it. The vibe is just good. I like it here. There is uh, also a must-try. It's ice cream. I'm going to try. As you guys know, I love trying local foods, and we're gonna have the full-on local Colombian Mede Medellin experience. I keep saying Medellin, but I feel like I'm gonna piss off a lot of Colombians. Medellin. It's a lot better. As long as you don't say Colombia instead of Colombia. Colombia, vale. <laughs> That's usually what the people get most upset about. Yeah. Isn't it business? Like. It's just that I'm forgetting the specific word, so yeah. I'm just saying ice cream. It's like uh, frozen is... fruit in shape like... Exactly. Oh. And then the most dry, it's usually the mango. Mango, I love mango. Yes. Alright. <laughs> That's lemon juice. You yeah. have to just keep doing this. Okay. And eating it. Alright. All right. Okay. Pero como se llama? Eh, son crema Doña Consuelo helados caseros. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like a popsicle, a fruit popsicle. Okay. Homemade. All right. For, this is mango and this is lemon juice. All right, vamos. Wait, 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 Pick it up. Okay. You need to, no, pick up Oh, this. oh, I gotta pick that up. Oh, yes. oh, like that, okay. Okay, they did not to let it there because it's gonna flow. Okay. So basically you're going to have to be... Okay, like that. Oh, that's good, guys, damn. 
Me gusta mucho. Amazing ice cream. Only 6,000 pesos for two, which is like $1.58. Cheapest ice cream I've ever had. This is a vibe. We are now heading up the mountain even higher. This time we're taking the elevator, which we're pretty gassed to be very honest. I know camera Sen and I were having a quick conversation. I was just thanking her, saying like it's so great to meet subscribers. Honestly, for me personally, it's such a flex that I can go pretty much anywhere in the world right now and people always hit me up on Instagram saying like yo Chris, can I show you around? That just makes the experience of traveling and making these type of videos so much more fun because of you guys. So thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. And Susanna was just saying that which video did you watch when you found my channel? Uh, basically the series of the I took the trip as fun. <laughs> the two. What was your favorite episode? I think probably Italy. Italy? Oh yeah, Italy, Vienna. Oh, Vienna was so much fun. Yeah, I. <laughs> there was the episode where I had to make like a pasta with a grandmother. That was terrible. I tried to speak to so many people, but still, that, that was an amazing experience. I'll definitely go back to Vienna soon. But Vienna, what am I saying? Venice. Venice. Vienna. Vienna. <laughs> Austria. Venice. I mean Venice, guys. God damn, I'm I'm a bad travel influencer. <laughs> we are now walking up into this random art gallery because I saw this really cool statue of this lady and a massive hand that you can stand on and i definitely want to take a photo there and check it out but in general oh this this is some cool art just a quick little break from the stairs having a view all over medellin it is so colorful i see many umbrellas graffiti art this city is absolutely beautiful before i got here i was a little bit hesitant because i didn't feel 100 percent safe in bogota i mean not even us feel safe in bogota not even the people that live there sadly it is a city that has a lot a lot of um insecurity it's really unsafe for everyone basically but here especially this neighborhood incredible really loving it We are now heading into a Uber. My original plan was to go downtown. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bien, bien, bien. But apparently, Susana doesn't think that's a very good idea for multiple reasons. First things first, there's really not much to do there. Basically, let me just explain downtown. It's the place where you go to get things cheaper. Sometimes not the best quality, but cheaper. Uh, so it is full of vendors, people, and cars. It's a chaos. Uh, sometimes it is easier to get robbed there. Sometimes they can get near to you, hug you, and then put a knife in here and really just give up your things or just try to drug you, stuff like that. Or even just bring things out of your hand. I don't think it's really good idea. And if you've been following my channel for a while now, you know that it's not really my style. Therefore, we're heading to Pueblito Paisa, which is also a beautiful neighborhood here in Medellin. Pablo Paisa. Did I pronounce it correctly? Almost. Kind of ish. And I'm gonna have to explain to you guys what this actually means. So, Pueblito basically means little town, right? Yeah, it's like a Paisa town, something like that. Okay. And Paisa basically means the people of the region of Medellin. So, in general. Yeah, so in general, this the translation would have to be something like the town of the people of this region, right? So, yes, exactly, <laughs> something, something like that. Something like that, okay, that's good. Also, what I wanna quickly address, obviously, Susanna just mentioned that you do have the risk of getting robbed when you go into the city center, but also, she's 21 years old, she's been there many, many times in her entire life, and she has never experienced anything like that, so I don't wanna put a sticker on Medellin as like, oh, it's a dangerous place or whatever, you just, gotta be careful and everywhere yes. in the world there are places like that and from what i've seen so far you guys have seen in the video as well people are nice they're very gentle obviously i don't speak spanish which makes it a little bit harder for me to have full-on conversations with everyone 
but they are super friendly. And just looking around, the architecture, the view, this city is literally built in between huge, massive mountains. That is just incredible. So if you are considering to come to Medellin, you have my blessing 100% because this is just beautiful out here. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that little speech slash raid of mine. Um, we are now exploring the little town and I'm just wondering, like, do people live here? No, nah, right? No, 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 no. This is like an artificial, for saying it somehow. Okay. Uh, this was just created uh, with uh, just for this to be a touristic place. No yeah. one lives here. But it basically showcases what a regular small town in this area would look like. Yeah, from okay. out outside the city. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Outside okay. the city, there's even a little church there. We got some orange doors right here. Everything is very colourful. In general, that's really, really what I love about Colombia. Hola, que tal? Someone is taking a photo of me. Todo bien. But people are always smiling. I like that. ¿Qué? Chris takes off. Es en inglés. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not the only Colombian subscriber anymore at this point, so that's yeah. good. Ooh, we got a couple more now. <laughs> and now we are entering beautiful church. This is actually a functional church. Like they do celebrations, religion. And now we're gonna do my favorite thing of pretty much every single video. We're gonna eat the most local food here in Medellin. It's called Pandeja Paisa. Bandeja Paisa. Bandeja Paisa. Guys, I really gotta start taking Spanish classes. Like Duolingo hit me up or something. That would be a really cool sponsorship to be honest. And it's much needed. But at least I know how to order in Spanish. Quería una Pandeja Paisa, por favor. <laughs> Why is she laughing at me? Okay. El día en español, ¿no? Sí. Oh, está bien, está bien, está bien. Sí, sí, así mismo. Muchas bien. gracias. Mi español es más o menos. Más o menos. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Y una Coca-Cola Zero, por favor. Okay, listo. Vale. I love how she just straight up laughed in my face, but it was like she was laughing with me, not at me. And guys, just chilling here. Got ourselves a nice little table. We got some colorful umbrellas here. Medellin. Es un vibe. That's Spanish for it's a vibe, but <laughs> I'm loving it here. We got some chicharrone, which is like pig. Then we got some bean soup, which is very classic Colombian as well. We got some eggs, some rice, a sausage, and then a blood sausage. <laughs> I recognize it this time. I'm not falling for that ever again. Apparently it is blood of a pig mixed with rice. I still get the chills if I think about that. That was disgusting. All right, I'm not sure if I can eat this without a knife. I only got a fork, so I'm just gonna dive in. Am I supposed to put it in the soup as well or not? You can do it. It's really, you can try it first, like that. Oh, it's crispy. Yes, that's the magic. You can also try to dip some into the soup to see if you liked it. I really love the variation with the soup, guys. We got some beans. Careful. It was hot. It is really. Oh, no. I prefer the chicharrona dip inside of the bean soup, to be very honest. Yeah, you can mix it. You can also pour it apart and just take the pieces there. And then all of this, guys, just feels like such a random mix of great things like beef, avocado, eggs, more eggs, blood sausage, <laughs> regular sausage. Oh, it's chorizo, guys. It's like a different type of sausage. Mm. Can call it. That's great. We got a nice little arepa también. Going all in on the Spanish right now. <laughs> With some ground meat. Mm, the ground meat beef? Very tasty. All I gotta say now, guys, is Medellin. Lovely city. I've really, really enjoyed it. The food here is incredible. The pastries, ah. Uh, not too sure about that. And to come back on the title of this video, was it the most beautiful bus ride? No, but it's definitely <laughs> brought me to a beautiful place. And if you want to see another video of me taking a very long bus ride, I suggest you click this video right here. Yeah.